everyone. Okay, so if you are here today, you are going to learn about how to enroll 250 plus hot leads per week. So by me, Danielle Fitzpatrick Clark. So what does that mean? What does that look like? And what are hot leads? What are, what are those types of leads for you? What does it do for your business? Um, a lot of times we skip over, we skip over the most important part, which is uh, we need leads in order to sell out our products and services. So, uh, and it's really easy to bring in leads. And, and I've been doing this for a decade and lead generation was one of the big things um, that I was hired to do. And I'm still hired to do. I actually have people that hire me specifically to bring in tons and tons of leads to sell out their programs and products. And, you know, we will go on to make the products and, you know, build out the platforms without actually doing the lead generation. So today I'm going to teach you guys how to bring in 250 on average hot leads per week. And it's much easier. It's much easier than you think. So um, keep in mind, you know, you don't have to stay on this training and, and I'm going to tell you if this is for you and if it's not. So this is for you if you've got a small following to a large following. So no matter what kind of a following you have, as long as you have gotten it started, and the reason I say that is because you've gotten the momentum going. You, you've actually brought in leads. Um, you've had a couple of different ways of doing that. And, you know, it could even be that you have 10 leads. That's a small following. And it can be on email. It can be on your social platforms like Facebook, LinkedIn, all that stuff. As long as you have gotten started in lead generation, then you understand that lead generation is important for your business. So um, this is definitely... A, good training for you. You're also clear on what you do and who you serve. So one of the, one of the easiest ways to bring in leads is to know who it is that you're, who it is that you serve the best and not just who you can serve, but who you serve the best. And also what it is that you do for these people. When you're clear on that, and it's just a matter of funneling these people over, then this training is absolutely going to help you. You're going to be a rock star. And, you know, the other thing I like to tell everyone, you have at least one social media platform up and going. So um, part of the thing with lead generation is that you need to have a platform. You need to have a platform to serve your ideal clients from. So, and, um, you know, social media is the best platform. So whether or not that's a Facebook group, Facebook business page, um, it could be LinkedIn, LinkedIn group. As long as you have one of those up and going, then you can really utilize this training to take your business to the next level and to really start bringing in hot leads. This is not for you if you're still deciding what you want to do. So, um, you know, here's the thing with lead generation. It is very focused, especially when you're bringing in that kind of a number, like 250. That's a really targeted audience. And if you're going to bring in that many, then you really are. Um, you really are knowing what it is that you do and who you serve. So if you're still deciding, then it makes it harder to bring in those leads. It makes it harder to be very clear with your messaging. Um, so this isn't for you if you're still trying to decide what is it that I do. If you know exactly what it is you're doing, how you serve people, and you just need some tweaks, this training is going to really help you skyrocket. So um, okay, deciding what you, if you're still deciding what you do, this isn't for you. If you're not sure who you serve, this is not for you. And also I want to tell you guys, if you're not willing to put in an extra five hours per week that in your lead generation tactics, which I, which I highly recommend you set aside at least that amount, it's not that much time. Um, then this training is not for you. If you're just looking for a one and done, um, or if you're not looking to be consistent, then this isn't going to work for you because in order to build that momentum, you really have to put aside some time and five hours a week is it's an hour in the morning, guys, just, it just gets to be part of your day. So I want you to really kind of take, um, even pause this training and decide, can I commit five hours a week to really making this work? And I'm telling you, it is so worth it. Think about what 250 hot leads can do for your business. What can 250 leads look like for your calendar, for your sales team? And what does that mean for filling out your programs and your products and services? Um, if you have been struggling with filling out your programs, your products, your services, then you absolutely want to play this, play this again and you want to set aside those five hours a week. Really, it, it's, it's not that much time, um, and it will have huge dividends. So 
my background. Why listen to me? <laughs> and, you know, I, I get it. There's so much noise in the entrepreneurial space. There really is. And there's not a whole lot of good material. <laughs> and there's not a lot of people who have been doing this for a long enough time to understand how the online marketplace works. So um, I'm a serial entrepreneur. I've had up to three businesses at one time. We've kind of brought those down into one, thank goodness. Um, 10 plus years in digital marketing. So I've been in digital marketing for quite some time. Um, really understand the customer journey in a lot of ways because I've had my fingers in, into the back ends of all the systems, um, all the funnels, everything that works and doesn't work in the online space, I have been there <laughs> and I see where everything's shifting as well. So um, it's much easier to be a little bit of a futurist in the digital marketing world when you've been in it this long. Um, I'm also an international best-selling author. I'm a speaker. I also host my own live events. And, and here's, here's why you wanna listen to me when it comes to lead generation, guys. I went from a zero following to closing in on 100K in a following, not just email, not just one social platform, several platforms. And I've done this in three years, guys. So uh, I, as much as I was behind the scenes implementer, I didn't have a following when I was behind the scenes doing digital marketing for other businesses. Um, when I decided to come out as an online strategist and a business coach, I had zero people following. And I've been able to grow that to all we're closing in on 100k we should hit this in the next couple months in three years so i just want you guys to kind of you know let that sink in that you can absolutely build a huge following turn your business around in a very short amount of time um if you know how to if you know how to utilize tools and how to utilize your superpowers um with who you serve best so right now, right now with some, with less than five hours and a lot of it, I pass off to my team with my strategies and tactics. I bring 500 plus hot leads in a week and I'm so good at it. I even have some of the bigger names in the, in the entrepreneurial space. They are copying me. They are copying me. They're using my strategies. They're seeing what I'm doing. They're seeing the results I get. Um, and they're utilizing these strategies for themselves. Now they don't know all my tips, they don't know all my hacks, they don't know all my tricks, um, which thank goodness, because there's a way that I've been able to do this very quickly and there's a way that I have been able to bring in 500 plus hot leads a week. Now I'm not saying that you guys are gonna be able to do 500 hot leads a week right off the bat in five hours, but 250 you absolutely can do guys. So. And I've helped hundreds of entrepreneurs build their online business from the ground up. And here's just a little plug for one of my books, Light at the End of the Funnel. You can go ahead and check it out at bit.ly.com, get my funnel book. So um, highly recommend it, wonderful book. You can get it on Amazon, the digital version. Um, you know, you can also get the paperback version. So go ahead and check it out. That's my international best-selling book. Okay. Bring science to marketing. Yay! A lot of people don't know this about me. I actually have a background in science. I was a scientist before I was a digital marketer. And so everything I do in business, everything I do for lead generation is very methodical. So, and methodical means that I'm more attached to the process and the methods than I am the outcome. Although the outcomes are important to, um, they're important to have, you know, as a placeholder, this is where I'd like to be. But really what gets you the results, especially in lead generation, is getting a process in place that works for you and it works for your ideal client. So everyone thinks they're already doing the steps to lead generation, but there, there's some things that people tend to overlook. They, we, we think we're you're like, I, I know I'm bringing in leads. I know I'm doing this, or maybe some of you guys are like, I don't know how to bring in leads, which I, I bet the majority, the majority of you guys watching this are like, I have no ideas how to bring in these leads. You know, everybody has all these ideas. It seems to be very time consuming. Um, it seems to be, um, you know, expensive. I need a big team to do it. You don't. You really, really don't. It's very, very simple. And this is what people overlook. They haven't defined who their audience is. Lead generation is really challenging if you're all over the place and you're looking at everyone rather than your niche. Um, also, people tend to overlook that they haven't really defined their goals yet. They, they know they want leads, they know they need leads, everyone's talking about lead generation, but they haven't decided what is it that my goals are with these leads? 
what am I going to do with these guys? Um, the other thing they haven't done is that they haven't defined their unique selling proposition. Um, so this is definitely going to be another webinar that I have to do when we're talking about your, your unique selling proposition. But stay to the end, guys, because I have a special offer for you, a special free offer that will kind of help you define that unique selling proposition a little bit more. Um, and so let's move it on. So the audience. So what is it that you need to do with your audience? The clear, and how, you need to clearly define your audience. So who are they? What are their pain points? Where do, you, where do they look for solutions to those pain points? I mean, that's, that's really, I mean, you can go into this deep, 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 deep. You can go into a deep dive of who your audience is, but let's, for the sake of this training and for you really getting going on bringing in tons of leads a week, let's just define who they are, their pain points, and where they're looking for solutions to those pain points. That's what you need today. So if you guys want to go ahead, I, I advise you to go ahead and pause this just write down who, who is my ideal client, write it down. Who are they? You know, demographics, keep it simple. Um, what are their pain points? And don't write just like, you know, oh, they need more money, write their biggest pain points. And there should be at least three or four pain points. And also, as far as you know, where do they look for solutions to those pain points? So when I'm talking to, um, when I'm talking to people about, you know, step into your audience's shoes, where are they going to be looking for their pain points? You know, some people were like, they'll say Google, you know, they're going to Google this. I'm like, awesome. Is your business on Google? No. Oh, let's get you on Google then. Because if they're, if they're looking for a solution to their pain points and they're going to Google, you need to be on Google. You need to have a Google business. Um, and it's really easy to set up to guys. So just kind of keep that in mind. If they, um, are in support groups, you know, if they, uh, if they clearly are on LinkedIn, um, you need to go over to those platforms. So you have to be able to know where to look for your ideal clients, um, for those hot leads. And you have to understand where are they looking for solutions to. And if you don't know, it's not a problem. You can, you can search for your, your ideal clients, which I'm sure you actually have some of those in your audience already. You have your ideal clients already following you or, and this is why I say you want to have a little bit of a following. You can ask them, Hey, what is your biggest pain point? They'll tell you, okay, great. Where do you go to find a solution to that pain point? They're going to tell you, which is ding, ding, ding. That's exactly the information you need. So, um, pause this, write down what you know, and write down what you don't know. And then you can also, once you have that information, then you can find out, then you can find time to, to get that information. Like, and I think that what I see with entrepreneurs is, um, they know who they, they know who their audience is, they know what their pain points are, but they're not clear on where their audience goes to find solutions. Um, and that's where you can take a pause and go and do that very quickly. So, um, when you're done that, Here's, we're going to go on to the next slide. Okay, so this is the next thing, defining your goals. Have you clearly defined your goals? And, you know, you know you want more leads. What are you going to do? What are you going to do with these leads? So a lot of times people haven't clearly defined their goals because they're like, I know I need leads. I know I need leads. I'm like, okay, great. How are you going to lead these guys through once you collect them? What is the end goal for these guys? And, you know, it's kind of that reverse engineering part where we start with the end goal, which is I want to fill out, um, I want to fill out my programs this month. I want to fill out my one-on-one -on -one coaching and I want to do it before the end of summer. That's great. That's a clearly defined goal. So now you get to reverse engineer. Well, how many leads do I need? That would be, that would be one thing. Okay, great. Where am I going to find these guys? How am I going to move them through the funnel? So um, when it comes to lead generation, you actually start at the end and work your way back. And that's the best way to clearly understand um, the customer journey, which clearly understanding the customer journey makes it much easier at the front of the funnel when you're doing the lead generation. So also, you know, clearly define what are your products and services? So you, you have that angle, you know, you want to you know you want to fill those products and services have you clearly defined what those products and services are what are you offering who are they for so that's the other thing you want to you want to understand that and how many people do you want to enroll in these products and services so we can have the products and services you can say 
I know I want to fill them. Well, what does capacity look like for you and your products and services? So if you are running a group program, how many, how many people can you actually serve? How many people can you actually fit? Clearly defining how many people you can fit in any of your products makes it much easier to understand this is how many leads I need. This is how many, um, this is how long I have to fill the front of this funnel with these leads so that I can pull 10 people and fill that group program. So um, know exactly how many. And, and this is where you want to define it. We can be really wishy-washy. We're like, well, I can probably take on, you know, 15 clients in the next two months. But, you know, I want you to keep in mind, can you take on as many people as you're thinking you can? Can you serve them to the highest of your ability? So sometimes, and sometimes you can take in more. That's, that's the fun thing. It's like, sometimes we're like, oh, I'm going to say, I'm going to say I can take on eight because we don't believe we can actually get to 15. We can actually serve 15 people in a group program. So um, set those goals clearly define how many people you want to enroll in your products and services. And then also, what are your timelines? What are your markers for reaching those goals? So if you're watching this and you're like, I have a week to, to fill my program with 15 people, then I would say, okay, great. So how many leads do you think it's going to take? How many hot leads do you need? What are your, what are your sales conversions right now when you get people on the phone? So, you know, we get to be realistic here too. Like, do, can you actually fill a program in a week? I mean, I've done it before. I have, I know, I know tons of other entrepreneurs that have filled 15 to 25 people in their programs in a week. Um, and they've been able to do that because they have so many hot leads. They have that, they have their calendars full, which is what we're going to be talking about today is how to fill your calendar. So, um, but clearly defining that timeline and then the markers to reach those goals is going to help you with this front of the funnel filling with, with the lead generation. So um, take a pause, go ahead and clearly define these goals, write them down because when we write these down, I think it's like a 90, 90% more chance of them actually coming into fruition. So write down what your timelines are, your markers. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong. You could, you can absolutely fill programs in seven days. Absolutely. I've seen it done. I've done it myself. And, uh, you know, or you can give yourself some more time. Like, well, I have some more time to fill this program. These are my timelines. Um, these are my services. This is how many people I can have in these services. Okay, and here, here we have the real talk. The steps that, the step that's often missed in lead generation is building out the platform and build, building out a platform. And, uh, you know, a lot of people are on all these different platforms and, and they're, they aren't really moving forward with them. So they can have all these different platforms. They can do all these different things. But if you haven't built out one and you have several, then it's time to kind of take that step back and just like, okay, what is, what is the best platform for me to build out? What is going to have the most success? And it can be it, I mean, a platform is, it can be anything on social media. So, um, you know, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, those are all social platforms. Another platform is your email marketing, your email list. That's a huge platform where you have people's emails that you've collected. So a lot of you guys have come in through either social or email for this webinar series. Um, and even face-to-face -face networking is considered a platform. So think about when you go to, and I'm looking at like a whole stack of business cards that I have right now from my last networking event. But think about those networking events where, you know, everyone passed out those cards, you have these conversations, and then you have like 50, I actually think I've got 100 in this one, 100 business cards. Those are leads, those are hot leads. You talk to these guys face to face. So that's, that's a platform that you get to work with. Like you have phone numbers, you have emails, organize that and utilize that as your platform. So, when you're building out a platform, keep in mind, this needs to be where your ideal clients are. So that's kind of why at the beginning I said, you know, to find, to find where your clients, your ideal clients are looking for a solution to their biggest pain point. So your platform, the one that you're building out has to be in that general area. This is where, this is where your ideal clients hang out to find a solution. And it could be Facebook. It could be 
that you have a that you have a large Facebook group where people have come in to learn something very specific from you. And that's your platform. So this is often what people miss is that they're trying to do all these different platforms and looking for their ideal clients rather than just getting really good at one platform and letting the clients come to you. That's, that is where marketing's heading, by the way, guys. It's more the attraction marketing. It's more the niche marketing. And people are really starting to come into you. And the more that you build out that platform, the more that you're seen as an expert in your niche. So this is why it's often missed is that people are trying to do too many things at once. So keep it simple. Don't overcomplicate. Keep it focused and simple all the time. Focus and simple, guys. Focus and simple. So this is pick out, and this is what I want you to do today from this training. If you do anything from this training, just pick out a platform that you are going to be committed to building so that you can bring in those leads. Okay, so running with one platform at a time. Now that I've kind of hit that home for you guys, let's talk about it. Get a good platform and run with it. Absolutely. Choose a platform. Not only, you know, choose a platform that works with your personality. So if you're, if you hate Facebook, then don't use it. <laughs> you know, that's the wonderful thing about social media is that our ideal clients, they, um, they can be on several different platforms. So choose one that works with your personality. Choose one that you feel really comfortable in or one that you're willing to get comfortable in. Uh, maybe that's a better way of saying it. Willing to get comfortable with. And choose a platform that gets your ideal clients to respond to you in a short amount of time. That's another thing. So if you've chosen a platform um, that's like Twitter, or I, and I'm just using that as an example because this is the experience I've had with Twitter where you know, you message somebody and they're not as active on Twitter. It takes months to get them to respond, you know, and, and as much as it is a long-term play when we're nurturing our leads, you also want to be, you also want to be realistic with, you know, filling your programs. And so if you are on a platform, make sure that they'll respond to you in a short amount of time. Time is always on your side. Um, and especially if you, if you have your ideal clients responding to you quickly, <laughs> so then time's on your side. Um, and I also want you to keep in mind, choose a platform that helps you to show up as the expert that you are. So we can be, I mean, there's a lot of noise in the online space, guys. There's a lot, a lot of noise and it's really hard to stand out right now. Extremely hard. In fact, when, um, when I did my last speaking my last speaking engagement, I asked everybody, what are some of the big problems, the big pain points that you have right now with the online industry? And everybody, everybody said, first thing they said was standing out in the crowd, standing out in the crowd. The second thing was relevance. So it, it's really, it really is a big pain point. If you're feeling it, you're not alone. How do you stand out? How do you show up as the expert that you already are? And how do you get recognized as the expert that you already are? Do you have to do videos with you doing handstands or waving your hand like, look at me? No, you, you really don't, guys. You really don't. Um, just choose a platform that will help you show up as the expert that you are in front of your niche clients. So you don't have to be the expert in front of everyone as long as you are seen and you are positioning yourself as the expert in your niche some great platforms, Facebook groups. It is a wonderful way to bring people in who want to learn from you. They're coming in for you to learn from you. And that's a great way to show up as the expert that you are. It's your group. It's, it's your, what it is that you're producing for them in this group. LinkedIn. LinkedIn is where Facebook was in 2013, I believe. So it is big right now. If you are not using LinkedIn, I would highly consider it. I would highly consider it. And it's bringing in a different type of professional. So if you do a lot of business to business, LinkedIn is definitely one of the platforms that you want to seriously consider. Um, and it's easy to show up as an expert on a platform that is just starting to show to, is just starting to not show experts, but it's just starting to create space where people can really show up as the expert. So one of the things that LinkedIn has released recently is live videos, live videos. People are really starting to put videos on LinkedIn. The other thing I like about LinkedIn is 
that um, you, there's no restrictions. Like you can send links through messengers. You can you can communicate that way. And, you know, people are open and willing to have those conversations on LinkedIn and they're professionals. Like that's the other thing that I'm finding, you know, with Facebook, you, you have people there for several different reasons. You know, some people are running, doing, doing business on Facebook. Some people are just, um, they're just a place to put their pictures, a place to hang out with their family and their friends, a place for them to socialize. LinkedIn is specifically for professionals. So if you're doing business to business, that's why you want to look at LinkedIn. The other platform that I love and I use this for myself, publish books, books that you have published. That's a platform. That's something that you can hold in your hand and say, Hey, I speak on this. And you know, one of the things I've found about being an author in an international bestselling author is that people do take you much more seriously. They know that you've taken the time to create a book, You've taken the time to put your expertise into something that can be looked at by the masses. And that's a powerful platform for you. So one of the other things to choose a platform to show up on is a podcast. So if you guys haven't created a podcast, a podcast is a wonderful way to really beef up that expertise muscle. And um, so if you've been considering a podcast, I'd highly recommend it. It is one of the hot platforms to create right now for entrepreneurs. And there's a lot of other things that you can do with podcasting that makes it, um, that just, that makes it, that makes it huge for you. There's a lot of things that you can do. You can also get on other people's podcasts and, um, this is not this training. I have a lot of extra trainings I can do, but having a podcast is a wonderful way to vet ideal clients too. So there's a lot of fun things you can do with that. Okay. Create a no brainer lead magnet. So here is the big way of bringing in 250 plus leads a week. You've got a great lead magnet. <laughs> so for, I, I suspect most of you guys know what a lead magnet is. For those that you don't, it's usually a free offer. It's a training of some sort, um, training or information of some sort. And it, it is meant to position you as an authority in your niche. So a lead magnet is not just to bring in leads, but it's also positioning. So when when we do when we do lead magnets correctly, we're we're offering free information, we're getting tons of leads, we're solving a pain point, and we're also positioning ourselves. Now that's a killer lead magnet right there. And and that kind of goes into the best lead magnets. What makes the best lead magnets? Providing a band-aid solution to your ideal prospect's pain point. And I mean that guys, like band-aid solution. Like they've got a they've got a huge gash. They've got a huge gash. A band-aid will keep it from um, bleeding too much, but it's again just a band-aid solution to a bigger pain point of theirs. Um, so that's a good lead magnet. And another great, another good lead magnet is one that's, that's easy to create and implement. So the thing with lead magnets, guys, is that you don't want to spend a lot of time on these. This is, this is free information. This is no brainer information for you to give away so that you can get the conversation going. You don't want to take a lot of time creating this lead magnet and implementing it. You want to be thoughtful on what your lead magnet is and what band-aid solution you're providing for your ideal clients, but you don't want to overdo it. You don't want to create something so huge that it takes months because you don't have time for that. And you don't need that. You don't need it in order to bring in these leads. And you want to create a lead magnet that naturally flows into your products and services. So if you're, if you're thinking about creating a lead magnet with a band-aid solution, then to your, to your ideal prospect's pain point, then the, the whole bandage, the whole shebang should be your product and services. So that one pain point should be covered completely by the products and services that you're offering. And the lead magnet is that band-aid solution that will naturally flow into, hey, let's have a conversation about something a little bit bigger that's going on in your business or something that a little bit bigger that's going on that I can help you with. So whoop, I went too fast. Um, so that's how you create a no brainer lead magnet. You really want to think about that. And when you have an ideal platform to create this, then that's when people just come funneling in, they come in because it's exactly what they need at that moment. And you're the expert to give it to them. Okay. So how to promote your lead magnet for the best results? Well, you create opportunities. You create opportunities to put those lead magnets out there. And there's a lot of ways to create those opportunities on your platforms. And it's as simple as, Hey, let's have a conversation here. I have something for you. So 
You want to create opportunities with your lead magnet. You want to find ways to create authentic conversations around that lead magnet. So I, this is the other thing. It's like people don't want to be sold to like, oh, another lead magnet. You know, so some people are like, maybe I should stay away from lead magnets. And, you know, there are tons of different lead magnets. A webinar is a lead magnet. But how do you create that authentic conversation around your lead magnet? And there's a lot of ways to do that. And it really has to do with the platform that you choose and how you are positioning the lead magnet and the content and the clarity that you have with that lead magnet and always have the process of a lead magnet in mind. So whenever you're doing a lead magnet, it's just a process. It's just, it's a B testing. It's like, okay, I think this is going to work or this is, this is what I'm going to, you know, utilize. I'm going to see how this goes. Be very committed to the process of your lead magnet and not the outcome, not, not the end goal because that's the other thing guys we want our goals at the end our lead magnets are a way to get us at the end goal however you may have to shift your lead magnet in order to get your end results so always have the process in mind with your reach out and not the end goal so that you're open to shifting your lead magnet creating a new one because sometimes we'll create a lead magnet and it's just it's so tiny of a band-aid that we need to create another lead magnet to get another band-aid because our product is that bandage and they may not be ready for the bandage solution right yet. So we need to create another lead magnet in order for them to be ready for that product and service. So that's why I tell everyone, I'm like, listen, it, it doesn't get to be a one and done with our lead magnets and our lead generation. It is a process and we're committing to the process. And when we commit to the process, that's when we see the huge results and we get to that end goal much quicker and then and then once we're once we are committed to the process and we find a process that works with our lead magnets then we replicate it so some great ways with your lead magnets is to do a b testing if you have a couple of lead magnets in mind and you want to try them both out great let's do some a b testing or if you have a lead magnet and you want to um, you want to make some changes on it. You want to switch out some of the copy to make it more appealing, so that you can get more leads. That's when you do the A/B testing. And A/B testing is basically you have two you you have two different um, products or lead magnets that you um, test and tweak and and um, make sure you you have measurements of the metrics so you understand like okay I got 50% conversions on this lead magnet and 20% on this one. So you want a way to track all that. Um, as you replicate, you want to continue to improve and refine. So any lead magnet that you create today, just know, leave yourself open for improvements. Leave yourself open for improvements and refining it so that you can have um, better results. And be ready, be ready to shift, be ready shifting of the freebies as the market shifts. Okay, so I spelled that wrong totally, guys. My apologies, but be ready to shift your freebies as your market shifts. So what is relevant, and this is relevance too, guys. So what is relevant today for lead generation may not be relevant in two months. It may not, it may be um, that you've built up this platform and you may need a different lead magnet or you may need a different way of defining your lead magnet as the market shifts. So when you're replicating, keep in mind, even if it's been converting wonderfully for two months and you're hitting those 250 hot leads a week and you're filling up your programs, just keep in mind that you may have to shift it in a couple months. You may have to. So I like to tell people that just like you're always going to be learning and there are ways to do that without, you know, burdening yourself with all the extra time too. There's a lot of ways to, to take a lot of this off your plate so that you can focus on your clients and, and your genius. So um, that's it is. So where you may get stuck. So this is kind of what I want to tell you guys real quick is that most entrepreneurs get stuck with their lead magnets or they create a lead magnet and it doesn't convert well. So I, I wanted to kind of point this out just a little bit and not for you guys to like, Oh crap, I'm not doing very good with my lead magnet. Not at all. It's just, it's pointing it out so that you can improve. And um, you know, we have to start somewhere. If you have lead magnets, if you've tried it, congratulations, you're out there, you're trying it. You're, you're, you're looking to bring in those hot leads and you're open to making the shifts where you need to shift so that you can have tons of leads coming in. So congratulations for having the guts, having the courage, being innovative enough, um, in your marketplace to want to even try. 
that's something that not everybody does. So I love, if that's where you guys are, then good on you. Let's keep going. So let me just say, I'm just going to tell you where a lot of people get stuck. The creation of a marketable lead magnet. So, and, and this isn't something that most people know how to do out the door. Um, unless they have like a marketing degree or unless they have 10 plus years of experience, what is it that makes a marketable lead magnet? So creating one that is marketable takes, takes a lot of strategy and it takes knowing, um, it takes knowing your ideal prospects really well. And it takes knowing what is it, you know, what is it with human behavior that makes people grab onto a lead magnet? Um, because you can know your ideal client really well and still not have a marketable lead magnet for them. Um, so you have to kind of understand what is it that will make people grab a lead mark, a lead magnet and come into my, and come into my platform. So the other thing people get stuck, stuck on is finding ways to com communicate what your lead magnet does and how it can serve your ideal client. So it's the clarity piece. It's the communication piece. They have an awesome lead magnet. However, when they put it out there, either it's too long winded and the message isn't coming across and people aren't they're skimming and they're not seeing the value in it for them, or it's just not a clear, concise lead magnet. It offers too much. A lot of people will offer way too much on their lead magnets. So um, the other way that people get stuck is that they don't get the leads into their platform. So they're not able to, they're not able to convert 250 leads a week because they, they haven't, it's not so much that they don't have a marketable lead magnet. They just don't know how to get in front of them. So getting the leads into your platform is all about getting in front of them. And then the last thing where people get stuck is the next step to collecting the, lead mat, the leads and then converting them into sales. So, um, and, and this is where I struggle, guys. So this is why I'm pointing it out, is that I have always been great at bringing in the leads, but converting them to sales, that was a huge, huge pain point of mine um, several years ago. And I had to learn, I had to relearn the, the uh, customer journey in order for me to convert these guys to a phone call to sales. So that's, and it's really, and it was really simple. Once I got it, I got it. And it's, it's a huge struggle. So people have leads, but they don't know how to convert them to sales. So this is, this is a big pain point for a lot of entrepreneurs too. And, and here's how I can help guys. So you know, let's just rewind a little bit and, and kind of go back to what I, what I talked about. 250 leads a week. Yes, you can do that. You need, you need a lead magnet, you need a marketable lead magnet. You need to clearly, clearly define who this lead magnet is for. You need to understand the solution that you're providing them, the band-aid solution you're providing them. And then you need to know where they um, are looking for the solution. You need to understand what platform and then create create your platform, build out that platform, and then start having those authentic conversations. Had a little hairball in my throat, guys. Okay. <laughs> um, so that's, that's what you need to do to have the lead generation that you want. And you know, here, here's how I can help you because if I, I, I don't want to inundate you guys with too much information. Um, it really, I think this is where customization comes into play because not everybody's the same. Not everybody's products are the same. Not everybody's clients are the same. So what I can help you with is how to create that next big lead magnet. It has to be a conversation. It doesn't have to be a long one, but we do need to have a conversation. Um, it's kind of like whenever I go to networking events, people are just like, here's my pain point to yell. How do I solve it? And I've only heard about their business in two sentences and I look at them and I'm like, well, that's a really, that's a, thank you for sharing. Thank you for sharing your pain point. And, you know, thank you for, for seeing me as an expert that can help you. And I will say this, it depends. We have to have a longer conversation for me to be able to laser focus exactly where this pain point um, is in your business um, and how to effectively solve this. And it's the same idea with this guy. It's like, I, I can tell you exactly what you need to do um, in order to have leads. And probably a lot of this you've already heard, but here's the thing. How do I create that big lead magnet that gets the 250 leads per week? And, and that takes some customization. That takes some um, time on the phone with me. So I, and it also takes you guys kind of laying out 
what I've asked you to lay out, which is who's my ideal client, what are their pain points, um, what are the Band-Aid solutions, and where, where, what platforms are they on? Where are they looking for that solution? So there's some homework for you guys to do here um, so that I can further help you. So I can help you, we can create your next big lead magnet, create content and copy that is clear, concise, and will convert. Understand how to go from a hot lead to a client, learn ways to better position yourself as an authority, learn how to duplicate, replicate, systematize your lead generation process. So this is how I can help you guys. And, um, you know, I know how to do this. I've been able to do this. I've been able to do this, you know, for the last 10 years and really effectively do my own lead generation in the last three years. Zero to 100,000 is no easy task. And it does take some laser focus um, lead magnets and, um, of course, a lot of work and building out a team that can support me in this. And I will tell you guys that it has been incredible for my business. I've been able to fill my programs. Um, during times when people aren't filling their programs, I know seven figure business owners who are struggling to fill their programs. Um, so they're no longer seven figure business owners. They were seven figures last year and they're right back down to six this year, six figures. And it, it you know, it really is because, because where your, where your superpower lays isn't just in who you are and what it is you offer, but it's in who you can attract. That's an ideal prospect. It's that building out of your tribe. and the sooner that you can start doing that, the easier it is for your programs and services to be filled. And once your programs and services are filled, you can scale your business. You can take it to the next level. You can have a bigger impact. So this is how I can help you guys. And to further help you, you know, I, I, I want you to just kind of visualize for a second. I want you to take just a moment, take a deep breath and just really fill into what a full calendar of sales calls would look like to you and what it would mean for you. Because this is absolutely what will happen. With a good lead magnet, you will convert to sales calls, not just discovery calls, sales calls. People who are banging down the door to see what it is that you offer, how you can help them. They're looking for you already. But imagine what that would feel like to have a full calendar of sales calls, to be so busy in your sales that there's no doubt in your mind you're going to fill your products and programs. So with a full calendar of sales calls, it leads to consistent money flow, consistent money flow in your business. You don't have to worry about where is my next paycheck coming from? How am I going to pay the mortgage this month? And I know, gosh, I know as an entrepreneur, it is, it is real. That pain is real. The consistency and the money flow, people talk about it. They talk about having it, but really what does it take to have it? It takes a full calendar of sales calls all the time. And I'm not saying you have to take all these sales calls. In fact, some of the things that you can do is you can bring on a sales team when you have more consistent money flow and you can, you can actually pass that off. But think about what your life would be like if you were hitting your income goals, if you were hitting 5K a month, if you're hitting 10K a month, if you were all the way up to 30K a month, how would your life change? What would that look like? How would that feel? How would that feel for you? And, you know, here's the other things. What would it be like to have systems in place that can be automated and duplicated by your team members? This is the thing. It's like, and this is what I was talking about. You have a full calendar of sales calls. You get that consistent consistency in your money flow. Then you can start passing off. You can start passing it off to team members. You don't have to spend five hours a week on lead generation tactics because you know, you know, it works. You know what system works. And you have enough consistent cash flow in your business where you can hire someone to do it for you so that you can spend more time doing the things that you love, the things that you love, which is staying in your zone of genius, genius. It could be coaching your clients. It could be serving your clients. It could be having that balance in your life where you work five hours a day and spend the rest of the day with your family or doing hobbies that you love doing. And you don't have to, you don't have to just live in your business. If you have automation and you can duplicate this and pass it off to team members. And that guys is the only way you're going to be able to scale and scale quickly is when you get, when you have a full calendar of sales calls, when you've learned how to convert those, 
creating that consistent cash flow in, in money in your business, having systems and automating it and passing it off to your team, that is how you scale. That is how you scale. It's how you take your business to the next level. And it's just a little bit of effort up front and it pays out huge dividends in the end. That's why I said you, you want to commit to five hours a week. If you're just getting, if you're really trying to ramp up your lead generation tactics, you need a little bit of effort up front. Effort and consistency will have huge dividends in the end. So think about how that would feel. Think about what five hours a week for lead generation would feel for you guys. So here's what I'm going to do for you. Grab a call with me, 20 minutes, just 20 minutes. Um, if we go over, I've given, I've given enough room for 10 extra minutes. So just in case, cause I I'm chatty and, um, I get excited when we're talking about lead generation, 20 minutes, we will define what your next lead magnet offer will be. We're going to do some really targeted, um, laser focused coaching here, um, and clarity session. So what is your next big lead magnet? Who your target market is? What platform to use to release your lead magnets? What systems to use to make it easy to deliver your lead magnets? And then I'm even gonna throw in a few minutes where I'm talking about, okay, this is how you can position yourself as an authority so you can scale. Um, that's the other thing. A lot of the things that we do in this company, um, which we have newly rebranded to influence builders that we help you position yourself as an authority and not in the look at me way, not in the gross greasy way. It's actually very authentic. And when you're positioning yourself as an influencer, it's, it's really important to first influence yourself to first get solid in your own foundations and then stepping out that way. And people will really, understand that you are an expert and an authority in what you do if you know how to position yourself accordingly so and it's really easy guys all you have to do is click the button below and if you don't want to click the button below you can just grab this bitly link so bit bitly bit dot ly slash dc hot leads so dc is daniel clark hot leads and uh it's the dc way it's the dc method superhero <laughs> superhero method to hot lead so grab some time on my calendar guys like i said 20 minutes will make such a huge difference in your business i can do this so quick with you i've been doing it for a decade i know how i really know how to pull this information out of people and how to run with it and you know don't worry if you if you don't know technology I've got a solution for that too. <laughs> We're going to keep it really simple. If any of the things that are coming up for you is like, GCL, you know, I don't know technology, so I don't want to take 20 minutes of your time. That's okay. I will show you. <laughs> I will show you how to create an awesome lead magnet without having to be good at technology. You don't have to. You just have to know who it is you serve, what, it, what solutions they're looking for, and where to put that information. That's all you need to know for this 20 minutes. All the stuff that we learned at the beginning. And let's, let's really make a difference. You know, we, we've got, you've got plenty of time, um, of course, to, to watch the training, watch it again, um, but grab a 20 minute session. And the sooner that you do it, the sooner that you can turn around your business. And it really does just take one phone call to do that. And uh, so I want to help you guys. I want to help you do that. So sign up. There's a button below. You can grab the bit.ly, cut and paste that into your web browser grab a call with me before they're gone because really I, I opened up more hours for you guys. Um, my regular hours are already booked <laughs> with, with calls. I'm booked out. So I opened up extra hours for you guys so that I can help you do this. So grab that call. Let's talk about it. 20 minutes. Let's change everything in your business so that, or at least let's change the directory in your business so that you can actually fill up those calendars and fill up those programs and, and have that consistent monthly, monthly cash flow. So go grab the spot and we will talk soon. Bye for now.